Hi folks, just out in a little walk here. I've already recorded one message, I'm doing a second one. I had to stop early because <laughs> the dog was rolling in fox scat. Yeah, and I think <laughs> it, made, it made me think that is what a lot of our people, or that's what a lot of nationalists seem to do online. They roll about in the feces, don't they? They want to stay anonymous and post abusive, and I've seen things and they want to basically do whatever they like and think that's contributing positively to promoting patriotism, nationalism, whatever it is. And it's not the case. These things have done us a disservice for far too long. These accounts, anonymous accounts, who say and do these things damage the positive efforts of good people. And it needs to stop. We need to, you know, <laughs> One of the things that, I, that I, I mentioned several times in speeches over the years is that you can have people doing sensible stuff and winning in their local community, post their stuff, and these accounts get good follows. But they never seem to get as many follows as the people that do the retarded things, the people that are abusive. And what that is, is people following to see what crazy stuff they're going to next. It's like following a comedy channel. But it's ridiculous because these people do not present us in a positive manner. They just make us look like the stereotypes say. So, I, you know, I, all I can do is urge people to, if you want to win, do the sensible stuff. Follow the sensible people and stop following and liking and commenting on the people that do the stuff that you know intrinsically is wrong. It doesn't help us one bit. If it's an account that you wouldn't show to your mum and dad, to your brother and sister, to your wife and partner, to your friends at work, then it's not a healthy thing to do, is it? It's not right. It's not something that you can be actually be proud of. So, you know, please guys, do the right thing. Stop giving oxygen to the idiots and support the sensible people.